hello my lovely people uh, so in this video i hunt to actually escape nyambo hanse yes i wanna go uh, to my village and check on my you know my pending projects and so come along with me and enjoy the video guys yeah make sure you watch up to the end don't skip the ads yeah so let's go home from this beautiful sign of the village it's very early in the morning by the way yesterday i came to check on my house because it's been five five years ah, not five years why am i saying five years five months of being away from my home like my home <laughs> not my parents house my house so um today i came to check on it and uh, since it's in the morning, I wanted to show you guys around and I have my little sister-in-law here. <laughs> She's following me. She wants to be in my videos. So why not? Hi. Hi. She's shy. Yeah, so I wanted to give you a little tour of, you know, my village house. I know we are like I haven't done so much changes uh, since the last tour that I gave you guys go and check it out I'll actually put a card here whereby you can go and watch it so let me just show you around and see how it is um, I can see an improvement in the compound though so let me show you guys yeah so this is the um, the far end of this compound and look at this guys the last time we were here this um this tree is it a tree or a decoration it's a flower it wasn't this grown i don't know if you guys can see it looks so good and i'm so happy i'm so happy it means this place has been raining and this is my fence uh it goes up to that far end and it's so green you know guys i'm planning to this is supposed to be a gate but you know i have to gather some finances so that the the plan will be executed yeah so the gate will be here it will be here because this is a compound let me show you it's a little bit small it's a little bit small but um that's how it looks yeah so this is um the sewage yeah the sewage is here Yes, that is where all the water comes in. It's very deep, by the way. And so I'm planning this will be the f uh, the compound and the gate will be here. And um, I don't know where the parking should be. I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. Maybe at the back or even here. Any, anywhere. You know, when sometimes when you're planning, you don't even have the exact picture. But when you know when you start uh, that is when you get the um the picture of where everything should be so for now and then we have this what do we call this is it a palm tree yeah 
and it looks so good and i'm so happy that uh it actually you know it fits the condition of this place and it was very small the last time it was very small go and refer to my previous video that i did and then this is this is the same as that other one yes yeah, so as you can see and i'm so happy that you know my fans is it's coming true yeah you see it, it didn't disappoint me yeah so roughly that's all and you can see my house is really dirty it hasn't been uh, taken care of for a very long time you know and when you're away uh, a lot of things happen and and since i live far away from here um there is no way i can you know come every now and then but since um i am actually planning to do some uh renovation is it renovation or finishing up the house because the house is not even finished up eh? it's not complete it's still very new and i've seen something very scary guys this is a snail i'm so um i think this the salt do you know the salt can melt this snail i don't really have the salt here i don't cook in this house to be honest <coughs> yeah so let me give you a brief tour of this place of my compound so this is how it looks at the back and um, you can see we also have a light here you know the reason why I love this the location of let me even you see myself the, the reason why I love the location of this um, house is because it's at the center of the village and um, it's so quiet like do you even hear any noise there are no noise you can only hear a little like maybe several people talking and it's just in the neighborhood yeah so it's so peaceful yeah so these are the drainage from the um, washroom this is for the bathroom and then this is for the wash um toilet is it a toilet yes it's a toilet yeah and then we have another um toilet here so it's a three bedroom yeah so and um we have a master and suit and also so as i'm saying it's a three bedroom master and suit and then one extra bath for the for the other rooms eh? yeah so but we also have an outer washroom so an outer washroom over here yeah this is the outer one <laughs> what are you guys doing mm -hmm. we're just having a discussion a discussion and you're quiet so let me let me guys show you how it looks from the inside i know most of you don't know how a pit latrine looks <laughs> so this is how a pit latrine looks yeah so it's just basically a small room with a hole at the center yeah and then we also have a bathroom but is it closed oh it's not closed this is how a village bathroom looks like eh? an outdoor bathroom with a small hole to drain the water so you'll just come and um and do your thing and the water will flow from that hole to the to the hole that is under under this that is the second um pit latrine it's not open so basically that's it okay so this is um what do we call this at the back of the kitchen like the back of the kitchen what do we call it backyard yeah those, this is this is supposed to be the backyard it's a whole compound a whole other compound and by the way we have another palm tree over here and it's doing well with this uh, with the with the soil with this soil eh? <laughs> yeah so this is the backyard after the kitchen and maybe you can suggest what exactly should we do with this area should it be a roundry area hmm? what do you think 
a laundry area anything can happen from this place so let me just go in and show you inside so this is the kitchen door the back door that is you can actually access the house from this um from this end you can also access from the other end the one that i showed you on the other part so this is the small kitchen it's not small by the way it's so big <laughs> the space is so big and then we have the working space over here and then the sink the incomplete sink as you can see there is still a lot going on here and then the window and somebody is peeping through the window <laughs> someone is peeping through the window then from the kitchen this is going to be the stone it's closed is going to be the store so this is where all the building materials are for now but this is going to be like a pantry yes it's going to be like a pantry whereby we can store some foodstuffs and um and what else yeah anything anything storable <laughs> anything stored and i sure my little sister-in-law here is following me around and uh, let's go so this door leads to the um what do we call it the dining and the sitting area from the kitchen that is yes so and the reason why this door looks like this is because the house is so not in it's so not complete yeah so this will be removed you see here it looks new i think i don't know who removed this place but once the house is complete we are going to unwrap this um yes these wrappings eh? because this is protecting the door from getting you know messed up here yeah? so and this is my very big dining i don't know if i should stand on this other side so that you guys can see this is my very very big dining look at that it's so big here it can fit a very big table that can accommodate even 10 people see it looks like a whole room <laughs> a whole room and then guys we don't have electricity this is a big window um for the dining and from inside you can see the beautiful view here as you you are doing your things you're eating you see the little fence here and then this is where the sink will be yes the sink from you know we have sinks in the dining i don't know where that came from we also have the socket and more lighting more lighting here and another lighting over there so it's well lit but now i cannot use use the lights because the electricity um you know there is no electricity yes so I thought so let me open the curtains of the sitting room so that I can show you. So are you ready for my sitting area? There it is. Yeah, so this is my sitting area. At least it has some chairs whereby when you come you can sit, even though the house is so incomplete. And um right now we cannot really furnish this house because you can see even the the walls eh? the walls are not well done yeah this is just the the small touches that were done so that at least maybe someone can come and you know stay you know like building i've, I've come to realize that building is not easy it's not easy at all and um you have to take your time you know you have to take your time and make sure that you're not struggling financially this girl <laughs> yeah so <laughs> so um this is the first thing you see from here is the socket you know this house has a lot of sockets so if i have a lot of visitors eh, nobody will be complaining oh where should i change my phone where should i do this and i actually want it raw and uncut you can see i was having breakfast there and i love avocado by the way so um, this is how my sitting room looks and it's so big by the way you see it's very big we still have a lot of chairs and these are one two three four five six seven seven seater yeah 
and that's it this is what we were having for breakfast i told you i don't cook in this house i haven't started cooking yet but yeah so this is now the front door i think <laughs> i'm showing you that the the house in a in a what in an opposite manner this is the front door and this is how it looks and then it leads to the porch this is the porch the fr the, the very first uh, part that you find when you enter the house through the main door this is the main door yes that leads to the porch and then to the sitting room uh, on the main house door and um, as you show yesterday we cruised with this we did like a road trip it was so enjoyable guys i can't wait to show you maybe a little i, ha I have a little footage of that um that road trip we, we like decided to do like a road trip with a bike and you know i don't know how to ride bike so somebody has to do that for me and another socket imagine you guys a lot of sockets in this house sometimes i'm even wondering why do we have lots of sockets and this is the sitting room window the first one and then this is the second one you see yeah and we have a lot of lighting we have one we have two we have three and we have four you see the lighting i wish there is um what do we call it there is electricity i could have showed you how the um the light looks good eh? and then we have another socket there yes i love it so this other part will be dark because there is no light of course guys so that's a disclaimer and as you remember still the door has the wrappings because the house is so incomplete so when you enter here i hope you will see i'll just try and you know position the camera this is the corridor of the house that leads to the um number one this is the main uh this is the 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 main washroom, uh, no, not the main washroom. This is the first bedroom, and then we have a washroom, the main washroom, and the second bedroom. So it's at the center because these two rooms will share this. So this is the first bedroom, and the switch. We have a socket and another switch to the bedside switch, so your bed will be here. <laughs> And I love the tiling. I love this kind of tiles, by the way. Also, we have this big window that will allow light to come inside. And you've noticed there's a lot of echo because the, you know, the house is empty. And a lot of you know, guys, you should see me with this lighting. I look so good. <laughs> yeah. So up to this point, what do you think about my house? Oh, I can't wait to take it to the second bedroom and the master bedroom. Let's go, guys. So, this is the washroom uh, that I was telling you about, and it's it's incomplete. Eh? So don't mind. We have this tiling, you know, um, for the bathroom because you're using the soap and water. You need to have these rough tiles, and also we had to match it with white because you know it has to match, and. The shower is not yet fixed. We are planning to have the shower because you can see the the switch is already um, there and the small window. The lighting is yet to be turned, but the ceiling is done over here. I'm just you know doing it fast because you are you're already seeing this. Then this is the second bedroom. Yeah, and you, you can see guys, it's spacious. Don't mind the stool, <laughs> you know, and everything is complete. All these things will be put in order but for now that's how it looks and there are a lot of cobwebs i'm really sorry guys socket switch and then this beautiful window. unfortunately this person that will be sleeping here <laughs> you'll be seeing the outside pit latrine but all in all as long as there is a lighting so from this side actually you can see the corridor really well yes so let's go to the best part, best part of this house. And 
this this the last part of this house whereby it's a master and suit guys please don't mind how it looks you know i came late at night so i didn't even have time to even clean it so this is the master washroom eh? you can see the difference it's bigger than the other one and but the tiles are the same the wall tiles are the same and we have the wash um the basin there and everything eh? but still no light no shower but we have the shower switch on we have the plumb plumb work plumbing so this is just a temporary fuck this is just a temporary bed here and a temporary mattress sometimes and then this space here will be the closet this is where the closet will be i wish i can have a walk-in closet but now you help we will work with the, this is just a, a house where you can come and you know chill and i don't know just change the environment this is not my dream house at all at all and you can see guys the outside from the master bedroom you can see the beautiful compound that is here ah, i can't wait for this palm tree to just be all grown and this other one this one oh my god it's it's going to look amazing yeah that's just a temporary fence because we uh planning to make a wall a permanent wall yes something permanent something you know something you know private yeah that's it eh? that's that's it for this house and i hope you all enjoyed yes, so guys i am cleaning my shoes you know i'm in the village um and look at my shoe so yesterday i i came with a white shoe <laughs> i did know like it's really raining around here but anyway all in all i have to wash them yeah because it's a white shoe you can't wear it with a um, man so let me find somewhere where i can hang this do you think they dry right here? Yes, mm. yes. Very fast. Uh, yeah, but it still it, it has some water from the rain. Ah, I think trying to clean my shoes. <laughs> I know you're asking who who this little girl is. <laughs> she is my family. She's shy. The man is tough. No, that is the disadvantage of having a white shoe. Because now, <sighs> but I won't clean it as if I won't step on the mud again. <laughs> but I did want it to look like. Um, the way it was a few minutes ago I want to just to remove the, the doors but then most of you have not seen my house I know most of you you are a lot of you and if all of you decide to go and watch my house tour I will notice <laughs> so maybe I'll give you a little house tour in a few
I hope you are enjoying and this is how the outside looks like and you can see very very tall tall trees very tall trees green everywhere green environment and the surroundings of the house are so beautiful you know yeah so guys tell me what you think and let me try and pass here tell me what you think about village life and what do you think about this amazing house this beautiful house oh the sun is really sweet you know it's been raining like for the better part of the night and i'm so i'm so glad that i came and um a lot a lot needs to be done inside here a lot need to, to be done but you know the good thing with the house is you can always complete it slowly by slowly like step by step you don't have to do everything um i think the the most is done but also we have a lot to do and yeah that is it about my trip to the village uh, my road trip to the village <laughs> this is where it ended yes and i'm enjoying it and i'm loving it you know moving around sometimes it's really good <laughs> ah, this girl always want to be seen on my camera and yeah so guys tell me what you think about this and you know make you know I, I i i think the good part about you know even vlogging about some some of these things is some people have suggestion of what oh i think you should do this on that part i think although we when you're building a house you always have like a picture of how you want it to look and how everything but i always welcome suggestions and make sure you subscribe you like share and don't skip the ads okay at least when you watch up to this point i know you've not skipped the ads thank you <laughs> yeah so i'll see you in the next one i wish i can maybe i'll come i'll come um some other time when um i i don't have a lot of uh, activities and then i'll stay here for maybe like a week yeah a week but now i still have all activities in Nyabohanse village, the Ayamaro village. So I just have to go back. I just have to go back because if I stay here, then other things will be, you know, <laughs> will be dragged behind. So see you in the next one, guys. I love you all.